We are ready to paint. The drums are all masked and I have lines of tape on the inside or on the outside on the holes and then the masking around the, the, the hole outside so we should be able to prevent any bleeding uh, onto the finished exterior. Um, we have paint in a crock pot. Yes, don't worry. It's only it's under 100 degrees. It's a chilly day today. You have to keep the paint warm. But I uh, have a temperature gauge in there, so do not worry. Nothing will explode. All right, so the goal is to get four very quick, thin coats on uh, all in a row on all five of these drums so that we always have that wet edge and we're gonna do the best we can. Hopefully this will not be a complete disaster. Untouched Gretsch shell. Well, to be honest, one was cut way down, uh, but we didn't do anything to the inside of this uh, to my paint job, and you can see some significant differences. Um, color is the same. Sheen's a little brighter on this. The paint job I just did, paint isn't completely dry, um, but mostly it's like very clearly the original silver sealer is only one coat. Here I've had to do multiple coats, and it had white underneath it in essence working as a primer. So even though I did a bunch of sample works on that paint and it matched this paint perfectly, what I did not uh, consider was what was under the paint and how that primer would affect the finished product. But I'm really happy with this. It's very, very, very similar. This one is um, still has, you know, the original is very shiny. Uh, it's very reflective um, and so the new New color is very reflective as well. Um, the paint shows all the, the uh, scratches through it in terms of the, and the wood grain. Um, so you still can see a lot of the character of the shell without all of the damage on uh, the new drums. And so I have to say, uh, using this spinning rack was very helpful. And never tried the warm paint can technique. So that's pretty cool too. So pretty happy with how these have turned out. Um, hoping they fade maybe a little bit, knock off some of that sheen, but I, I doubt it. So, all right, uh, got my snare drum, the quick paint last night. Um, just one quick coat of the silver and brought out my Gretsch Renown from my school uh, just to compare the silver sealer. And uh, as you can tell on this, the silver sealer on a modern Gretsch um, is completely opaque, unlike the vintage where it was translucent or transparent to a certain extent. Um, <clears throat> so I can see that it is just a tiny bit darker than the drum color or the paint color that I chose. Um, uh, however, if I had used this modern Gretsch as the reference, I would have chosen something one shade darker. That would have been better because this, of course, was that same opaque that I have on these drums. So I have a little bit of a mirror finish on the inside, more than I wanted, but we will live with it because it is extremely close to the original. And you know what, it's the inside of the drum. All right, well, time to grind some uh, edges here to kind of clean them up and to sand them down and do the best we can to save these drums. <laughs> 